Are you learning to code but you feel like you are stuck in a rut? In this video, I'm gonna help you learn how to learn code properly so you can make a career change. And listen, I know what you might be thinking. Oh, there is another guy that's gonna give me advice and blah, 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 and it's gonna be exactly the same as the rest of the hundreds of videos that I've seen, but you are wrong. I have been teaching myself programming in 2016. In 2017, I got my first job. And since 2019, I've been helping people on a regular basis learn code to get hired. And I know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you want to make this career change and actually be successful with this endeavor, then please turn off your brain for like five, 10 minutes. Please pay attention to this video and try to understand what I'm gonna share with you because this stuff is important. There are two stages when it comes to learning code to make this career change. The first phase is the learning phase, okay? In the learning phase, what you want to do is to try to absorb as much information as possible and try to make sense of this information so you can actually use it, okay? And this phase is very important because it makes you think and you have to think like an artist in order to make it work. Probably you saw these David Goggins videos where you feel motivated and that you want to go for a run and then you want to run a marathon every day and just grind and grind and grind. But this doesn't work in the beginning. When you are a learner, you have to be as relaxed as possible. You want to be in a flow state. You want to be able to see pleasure in the work that you are doing, okay? If you open your laptop and you sit on your chair in your crusty chair and you feel like this is painful and if you feel like this is hard work and if you feel like you hate it, unfortunately, you are not gonna make it work. You have to completely enjoy what you're doing. I understand things will be frustrating, of course. Even when you are painting something, sometimes getting the right uh, shade on an underneath an eye or whatever is gonna be frustrating of course but I'm not talking about removing frustrations from learning but what I'm trying to say is whenever you sit down to uh, learn something make sure that you are in a relaxed state and that's why you should also schedule complete days off in your calendar okay so for example my complete day off in my calendar where I don't do any work whatsoever so Saturday is my complete day once you move from the learner stage you will get into the builder stage and that's when you can actually start pushing yourself like for example today i'm gonna finish x amount of uh, features or i'm gonna build this feature or i'm gonna do this research because right now you can afford to grind okay if you're a baby like you need to play in order to learn how to stand right and then you need to learn how to play in order to learn how to walk and then at some point you know how to run and then you have the skill and you understand uh, the technique of running so then you can run for ages of course what to the limits of whatever your body permits okay but when you get to this builder phase that's when you can push yourself hard and that's when you'll actually build those sick projects that I'm always talking about in my videos, okay? The problem is that most people just get through the creator phase somehow with pain and whatever, then they get to the builder phase, they don't understand they're in the builder phase, they don't build anything, then they go to apply to jobs, they never get anywhere and it sucks, okay? So please understand there are two phases in this whole career change journey and in any kind of career change journey, this is gonna apply to you if you wanna learn uh, marketing or sales or uh, design or whatever it doesn't matter okay so these two phases always exist okay because that's how your brain actually works as you are learning this stuff and as you are building your projects and whatever you'll have blind spots so if you don't know what a blind spot is let me give you an example the other day i was driving and i wanted to switch lanes i wanted to go on the right lane because i wanted to turn right because that's how i get to my house okay so i looked in the mirror there is nobody there I turn my head, nobody is there. And then I start turning and then I hear a honk, okay? A very loud honk. Because I was about to hit a guy uh, that I couldn't see. He was in my blind spot. So you need to realize and to understand that you need to leave your ego at the door because when you're a beginner and it doesn't even matter how advanced you are in your seniority, you'll always have blind spots and you need to uh, have someone to help you address these blind spots otherwise you will forever go in the wrong direction 
and you might really hurt your career without you even knowing. So if you want me to help you uncover these blind spots, there is a link in the description, click on it and apply for the mentorship. The third thing that I want to tell you is that there is no easy path. We are humans, I hope, and we are wired, like we are literally wired to find the easy path towards success. That's why it's easy to get fat, but it's very hard to get in shape. That's why it's easy to watch Instagram reels for five hours a day and it's hard to build uh, a project for five hours a day every single day. You'll understand that this journey is going to be extremely stressful. There will be moments and probably you'll have this moment every single day where you feel like you will never make it. You'll feel like AI is going to take your job. You'll feel like nobody's hiring juniors. You'll feel like whatever you are feeling, those feelings are just feelings. They're not facts. The grass is not greener on the other side because I know you are learning code right now because something attracted you to coding. Maybe it's the fact that you can build stuff. You have a natural tendency towards building stuff. You always had it, okay? That's why I also got uh, into coding and I didn't get uh, into like design. I never liked that. If you find it hard, that's because it is hard. It was always hard and it's always going to be hard. You cannot expect that if this is hard, switching to something else is gonna be easy because when you start something from scratch, you'll have a full sense of confidence really quick. And then after a while, you'll dip and realize that there is a lot of shit that you need to learn. You might see people that are saying, hey, you, sh you should get into cybersecurity because that's the, the way to go, for example. Now you see those videos and you're like, oh yeah, coding, I'm gonna get into cybersecurity. Then you get into cybersecurity, you have this full sense of confidence but then you realize soon, maybe in a month or two, that there is so much to learn about cybersecurity and you got yourself into shit. After that, you'll be like, oh, maybe I should get into learning Java or maybe I should get into, I don't know, selling cars or whatever. Then you realize like selling cars is not as easy as the guru makes it in his YouTube videos or in his ad or whatever. Every career that you want to get into, has its pros and cons and you need to be aware of them and you need to be okay with the cons more than you are with the pros because every good career is going to give you pros like in every good career you're going to make i don't know six figures and you'll be able to work remotely and have flexible time just understand there is no easy path there is no like straight road to success yes i can give you some shortcuts if you join my program but you still have to work a lot you still need to go through the rejections in the interviews. You still need to like face the devil, right? Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is your love for work. We've been told that work is bad. We have two types of gurus, right? We have gurus that wake up at 4 a.m., they uh, put their face into iced water, they are doing cold plunges, they are meditating 20 minutes a day, then they are running, then they are going to the gym, then they are uh, starting their work day, then they are, you know, these super productive guys. And then on the other hand, you have these people that are making fun of these super productive guys. I know that these super productive guys are actually in love with the work. Such as you are in love with procrastinating and watching YouTube every day, like I am, these guys are in love with working. These guys that are in love with working and they are doing these bullshit routines and whatever and you are laughing at them, they will be way further ahead than you. Do you want to be further ahead than where you are right now or do you want to be stuck here forever? Because if you do not make some changes and if you do not start to enjoy your work, you'll never get where you want to get. It's absolutely impossible. I was lucky that in my 20s, I was obsessed with work. I was obsessed. I was sometimes working 10, 12 hours in the coffee shop. Then I was coming home and I was studying for four hours, right? So that's 16 hours, I'm aware of that. And then I was sleeping four hours a night. I actually haven't felt like I was making sacrifices. There are people who don't have hands, that don't have legs, and they would love to be in your shoes to be able to write code. Imagine if I would not have my hands, like I would not be able to write code. Like most of us, we are living such good lives that we don't realize how much we could be doing. You will have to work till you die anyway. Look, I've done the whole Thailand, Bali thing. I used to be on the beach all day, but like after two weeks, it's boring. If you just do your job, you are an accountant, let's say, do you really find meaning in your life if you just do the eight hour shift and then you come home and you do nothing? No, you need to find some sort of meaning and that's gonna help you love your work and you have to be excited for it. The last thing that I wanna talk about, which is the fifth thing is stop pushing or delaying your work. Again, I was speaking with a student and I realized this uh, about myself as well. Um, I'm starting a new business on the side because uh, I have found the problem in the market and I know how to solve it, okay? 
And obviously, until I make this business work, I need to go through a lot of bullshit. I have to lose a lot of money. I have to do a lot of experiments, tests, etc., etc. And sometimes I find myself not doing the work because in my mind, I know that I'm going to be successful with this thing as well. But I keep delaying that work because I don't want to fail. End result, so far ahead, I'm pushing it so far ahead because I can get it faster if I do the work today. But I just push it further and further and further and further into the future because I don't want to fail uh, in the present. You are the same. Probably are very motivated on a Monday, then by Wednesday, you're already taking too much time off. On Thursday, you're completely off. Then on Friday, you feel guilty. And then on Saturday, you feel even more guilty and you cannot relax fully so you can start your week properly. And then you end up in this cycle of you wasting months and months and months and months and years. And then you have a decade and then you look back and you're like, I'm 40. I could have done this 10 years ago. And now I have more responsibilities on my plate. I have less time, less energy, less focus. I have kids running around. The result is pretty much guaranteed if you do the right things but you have to do the right things. And the faster you do the right things, and the more impatient you are with doing the things, the faster you're gonna get to the end goal. Start working today and do what you can today with what you have. If you do not have the best laptop, that's fine. Use what you have. If you do not have five hours of coding time per day, that's fine. Use just one hour. And then with time, you'll figure out how to remove things from your life to do more. If you want me to help you learn code to get a job, there is a link in the description. Watch the testimonials. You'll see that every single person that I have helped is or was in a similar situation to the one you're in right now. Book a call with me or someone from my team and then I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.